sitting here thinking about a, a video we're going to make. We decided we want to talk about greatest gaming accomplishments. Personal great uh, greatest gaming accomplishments. Something that you've done that you are just so fucking proud of. And we're going to talk, um, you know, about some of ours. And so I'm, I'm going to start off. For me, one that always comes to mind is Final Fantasy Tactics. At the Towards the end of Final Fantasy Tactics, you can uh, do this dungeon where it's completely dark. There's ten floors, and you and it's completely dark, and the only way you can end up seeing is if uh, you start killing enemies and they turn to crystals that starts lighting the place up. And this is where you get all the best armor, and you're fighting shit that will just one-shot you, and it's just a fuck, and it's just terrorizing. If you get to the end, there's this old man that you have to fight. And he casts the best summon in the game, Zodiac. And if you have a summoner with uh, the Beastmaster, I forgot this guy, I think it's like Beastmaster or something like that, you can get this skill. And this Zodiac summon will just destroy everyone. It will destroy them. And I got through this dungeon. Fucking destroyed everything. Got through there, got the Chaos Blade. My Rams, I had an Excalibur and Chaos Blade. Fucking ridiculously powerful. It is one of my greatest accomplishments and also one of my greatest defeats because my fucking summoner, that stupid cunt, would not learn fucking Zodiac. I let that dude cast Zodiac on my party like four times, scraping by just trying to survive, and she would not learn it, and I could not figure out why she wouldn't learn it. Her faith was uh, high enough to you know, be in that threshold where she could learn it, and she just fucking didn't. And I couldn't understand why the fuck she wouldn't learn it. And I, I still never got it, you know? Yeah. And, and I mean, and the thing is, my party was so ridiculous, dude. I would do story missions, and I would send my party out there. I, dude, I could send Ramza out by himself, because he had fucking Excalibur that had constant haste, and he had Chaos Blade, who had a chance of uh, casting stone on him. I could send him out there by himself with counterattack and <laughs> destroy everything. It's funny you talk about that, too, because I don't want to take the conversation that way, but like that reminds me of Final Fantasy X, too, when I was trying to beat Tremor down in that dungeon and shit like that. Like I had 99.9%, .9 and the only way to see this like ultimate scene is like to get 100%, and I just fucking couldn't do it, dude. Tremor whooped my ass every <laughs> single time. I must have fought that dude like 100 times. I remember you fighting that guy. Oh, my and God, yeah, dude. It was, it was fucked up. It was up. a complete failure every time. But, but I think I think in... Another one of my achievements, and we're going to go to you next, Lee. Uh, another one is uh, killing Vivek in Morrowind. Oh, yeah. I remember I, I had the Staff of Levitation. I went up there. I had a Red Guard, and I got all prepped up, and I walked in there. I drank every potion I fucking had. <laughs> drugged I your dude yeah, up? I drugged my dude up till he was fucking just like roid rage, and I threw on Adrenaline Rush, and I ran at Vivek and just went fucking batshit insane on his ass. And he almost killed me, but I ended up killing Vivek. And you and you don't really – I don't think you have to kill Vivek for any fucking reason. No, I just yeah, wanted honestly, to try and do it. Yeah, no, if you go through the main story, you have to interact with him. But it's it's to get that, like, uh, piece of armor that lets you equip the Keeney or yeah, whatever. Yeah, And the Sunder. Yeah, and uh, – yeah, and those were like the best weapons in the game. You needed yeah. to fight like Dago. But if you killed him, then you had to take that armor and like get somebody else to show you how to use it. You had shit. to you had to fight that like only surviving uh, dwarf or something like that. That was like, remember he was like yeah. half machine. He was the like fat dude. Was, yeah, it was like all like Frankenstein, like half man, half robotic spider. And you found him like in this deep cave or something like that, and he would hook you up. But uh, I think that was a cool achievement, you know, killing Vivek, killing a god. Yeah, basically. mine, mine was mine is Final Fantasy X when I got the HD remake and they did the international version where you could fight the Dark Aeons and you could ultimately fight Penance. Yeah, I cannot tell you how much time I spent leveling up my people. Not only did I complete the Sphere Grid, but they, I had to delete nodes. They had like plus two agility, plus two strength. I had to delete them and add nodes that were plus four. Like I had to rewrite the sphere grid for three of my <laughs> characters. Jesus. It was it was insane. I spent so much you had to make your own armor and add like auto haste and stuff like that just so you could get a turn. Wow. Completely fucking rewrote the sphere grid, dumped like just hundred I don't even know, like hundreds of hours, probably like two to three hundred hours. And I finally got to the end where I beat all the Dark Aeons. And the Magus sisters in that game are ridiculous. You can't fight them all three at the same time. There's a trick where if you run away from them, 
you can find them one by one. Yeah. So I ended up I ended up doing that, and then I got to penance, and I'm embarrassed to say this, but I got to penance, and even though I had rewrote the spear grid and done all this crazy stuff, I still could not beat that dude. And I had so much money because I spent so much time in this dungeon, like wherever you get Omega or something like that. All right. I had an insane amount of money, and I never used Yojimbo because the dude's a dick. You have to pay him money, and he'll decide what he does based off of the money you pay him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck you. But I never used him, and I just – I got to penance, and I was like, no, I'm here. I've done so much. There's nothing else I can do. So I paid Yojimbo like something like $4 million or something like that, or Gil, and fucking uh, there's an instant kill move he does. And I was like, if there's any time that he, you can use it, it would be now. And it gets less effective or less probable that he'll use it the more times you use them. Right. And I'm like, I've never used this guy, so he has to do it. I paid him the money, and he did it. One <laughs> shot at fucking penance, dude. Nice. Yeah. I think I, th- I think my next one would be um, Chrono Trigger. I uh, I played the ch- I beat the absolute shit out of Chrono Trigger so many times. And so I think I was on, like, my third or fourth New Game Plus. My Chrono was maxed out in everything. I spent so much time throwing power tabs at that fucking kid. I went in, and I, and, I, and it was just for shits and giggles. I, when you do New Game Plus, in the very beginning, when you're at that festival and you meet Marley, in New Game Plus, you can go into a portal and fight Lavos right away. And I went in there by myself. I ran straight up to it and threw Chrono in there by himself. To fight Lavos at the very end. And I think it's one of the bad him. endings, isn't it? No, no. If you if you if you beat it like that, you actually get the best ending. Uh-huh. Which quote unquote the best ending is uh you're hanging out at the end of time and there's like all these all these characters and stuff and like developers put like them have them saying weird shit and stuff like that. That's the <laughs> quote unquote best ending. But I sent Chrono in there by himself to kill Lavos. And it, it it probably took me about an hour. Uh, even when Chrono's badass like that, it still took a lot, and it took a lot of items. But uh, I beat Lavos with Chrono by himself, yeah. <laughs> which was awesome. I thought that was pretty cool, you know. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah. I mean, there's other games where I've thrown, like, a lot of time and effort into, you know, getting my characters. What I, like, there's a lot of things that I'm passing up that I want to talk about, you know, like Final Fantasy VII and stuff like that. There's a... You know, there's a healthy amount of time that you could put into it beating Ruby Weapon and Emerald Weapon and stuff like that. But one of the ones that sticks out for me also is fucking uh, beating Knights of the Old Republic, the OG Xbox fucking version. Yeah. And uh, beating it on good, which I still have yet to meet anybody who has actually (laughs) done that. I remember getting to the end of that game, and uh, there's all these, like, Jedis in these tanks, and you can drain their life force to heal you, and the, the boss can do that. But I went in there as good, and I didn't have that ability. I went all light side. I was good. You know what I mean? Right. Could not drain these enemies. And here the boss was doing it. And, like, I had to throw my lightsaber to break all these tanks so the dude couldn't just, like, keep healing himself and shit like that. And I did the same thing. I just drugged my dude up, like, put all these stems in him and shit like that. So he was super fast, super strong, breaking all the tanks and shit like that. That was one of my proudest gaming accomplishments because I got to the end of it. Even though the ending was fucking terrible. Well, everybody else has become a leader of the Sith. I got like a stupid little medal. Just like, hey, good job, buddy. Yeah. I think another one that just popped in my head, uh, another Super Nintendo game, and it's weird, but uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country 2, if, if people, anybody who's ever played those games, they were really fucking hard. Donkey Kong Country was brutal. And I got 107% in Donkey Kong Country 2. I beat the absolute shit out of that game. I did fucking everything. And I, and honestly, to this day, I don't even know how I did it or why I did it. Because I'm not even, like, the biggest fan of Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. But for some reason, something crawled up my ass, and I wanted to beat the shit out I of think Donkey you just, Kong Country I think you just 2. reach a point when you're in a game where, like, you've gotten so far, and you're just like, there's no turning back now. I can't just stop doing this. I'm balls deep right now. Like, it's just, I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that's, that's really what it's got to be. You know, because, I mean, it's, especially when it's weird games like that, you know. And then there's other games I absolutely adore that I haven't gone in and destroyed like that. And it's, I don't know. I, there's there's just really, you know, there's just times where I'm, I think about gaming moments where I'm, you know, I'm in there. And I, me- I remember there was this one time I was playing Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy III for, you know, Super Nintendo. And um, it's not anything crazy. 
but it, there you get to this halfway point in the game where uh, Kefka is trying to move these uh, statues of balance and it's going to turn the world, you know, the world into ruin. Yeah. And you have to fight this boss Atma weapon, which ironically enough is the name of the best weapon in the game that you can get. And I fought that dude like fucking 50 <laughs> times, dude. I fought him so much and I just could not figure out why I couldn't kill him. I tried leveling up and stuff, but the world of balance was a hard place to grind. Yeah. And uh, I remember I was fighting him one time thinking I was going to die again. And in Final Fantasy uh, VI, the bosses would flash. It would just go <laughs> like that. And it happened. And I beat him. And I'm just sitting there. And I just want to scream. And, like, my brother's sleeping at night. And I'm like, dude, holy shit. I just beat him. Holy fuck. Oh, like, you yeah. know what I mean? You oh, guess. You guess. guess. Oh, you guess. guess. <laughs> you know? And I beat him. And it was just like I was just so fucking proud of myself for sticking with it and just getting through, you know? Yeah. And, and and it's a cool feeling, you know? Oh, yeah. So, you know, we want to hear from you guys. We want to hear other gamer accomplishments because we haven't done it all. And there's shit that people have done that we haven't done. And, you know, we want to hear about what you guys have done. Uh, you know, put them in the comments, like, subscribe, uh, share, you know, do all the normal YouTube stuff for us. We're out. <laughs>